Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Azerbaijan continues to target peaceful settlements in Artsakh. Initiative to recognize Artsakh's independence in the U.S. Congress. European Court of Human Rights confirms that Azerbaijan is governed by the racist regime Nikol Pashinyan. LEF has been in Turkey for several days now, Volna Caspian. Iran will hold their defense military drill in October 21. The main gate of the palace of the ancient city of Haran discovered in Western Armenia. Azerbaijan continues to target peaceful settlements in Artsakh. During the night of October 20, there was a relative ceasefire in all settlements, but Martagert and its neighboring villages were once again targeted by the adversary at dawn. The adversary used aviation in the same direction yesterday and bombed civilian infrastructures. The air defense units of the Artsakh Defense Army hit the enemy plane in the southern direction around half past eight. Ministry of Defense spokeswoman Shushan Stepanyan wrote about this on her Facebook page. The situation is relatively stable and tense, she wrote. The Azerbaijani armed forces not only violate the established humanitarian ceasefire but also use banned weapons on the peaceful population. Representative for California's 32nd Congressional District Grace Napolinetto urged the USA to officially recognize the independence of Republic of Artsakh. Referring to the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, she said that Artsakh cannot be part of Azerbaijan, adding that it has been an integral part of the Armenia for thousands of years. Freedom is the only answer left for Artsakh's survival history based, law based, survival based, remedial secession. Napolitano said, adding that the path forward is one of liberty. The European Court of Human Rights has confirmed that Azerbaijan is ruled by the racist regime that glorifies ethnic violence against Armenians and sows ethnic hatred in society, wrote Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan on Twitter. Forcing the Armenians of Artsakh to live under the rule of Azerbaijan violates international law, he added. Azerbaijani President Aliyev has been out of his country for several days, preferring to be in one of his palaces in the Turkish region of Antalya, appearing in Baku only for briefings and addressing the nation, while well, Caspian newspaper writes citing its sources. According to the source, the unexpected behavior of an Azeri dictator is connected with the fears for his life and his government due to the growing anti-war mood throughout the Azerbaijan. The reason for these disturbances was the failures of the Azerbaijani army in Karabakh, despite the promises of a quick liberation of the region. According to the sources, the Azerbaijani leadership tried to deprive its population of true information from the war zone mainly by cutting off social networks throughout the country and obstructing the work of journalists. Only information that was favorable to Elia was received from the front, the newspaper writes. It is reported that there is a great deal of outrage in the whole country, which will most likely start in the areas inhabited by the indigenous people of Azerbaijan, but then will definitely affect Baku as well. A military drill of Iranian Air Defense Force will kick off today. General Ghadir Rahimzadeh made the announcement saying, The joint air defense drill will start on October 21 with the aim of improving combat readiness and synergizing the air defense capability of the armed forces. The drill will be held with the participation of Iran Air Defense Units, IRGC, Aerospace Force and Army Air Force under the operational control of the country's air defense base in the situation near to real battle in an area encompassing more than half of the country, he added. Rahim Zadeh went to say during the exercises which will be held in the form of joint network based operation with the aim of coordinating the air defense of armed forces, a variety of indigenous missile systems, electronic warfare communication systems and visual surveillance network of the Army of IRGC under operational guidance and control of the country's air defense base will practice dealing with all types of low, medium, high altitude and long-range air threats in fully operational conditions based on the real battlefield. The main gate of the palace of the ancient city of Haran in the Urfa province of Western Armenia, which is included in the UNESCO World Heritage List, has been discovered as a result of excavations. Haran is considered to be one of the oldest settlements in the world. It is 900 years old. Head of the excavations, Professor Dr. Mehmet Ona, reminded that in the previous excavations, a three-domed bath was found in Haran Palace, pointing out that Haran Palace is one of the rare examples of the palaces preserved since Middle Ages. Onal said that the inscriptions and symbols on the stamps and rings found in the palace are also being studied by archaeologists. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Sahak Sahakan. <laughs> Çökenek, 
çakanak dozalar çakanak Of kani hazifte artnana Hastum ey yeğer hekati bari Yevahı sanırna ir for ver keri Orsala miştar tum bahvani nıran Çökenek dağanır çökenek You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV This was all for today. Goodbye.